What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Top two sides, everybody in between. Don't make the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I made my subscriber count private, and it's going to remain private, just to let everybody know. Um, and uh, all signs readings are up. All sign readings, like Caps or Sag, they're all up for the month of July. All of them. Um, the first half, um, Caps through Sag for 1 through 15, July 1st through 15, they're up. And um, 15 through 31. July, they're all up. Just to let y'all know. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. I do, I do, I do, do. Love you guys. Okay, so I received another channeling in. Um, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. One message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Just saying. Okay. So the channel message I received was a karmic married couple is about to get severe negative karma on many spectrums very soon. Um, that's all I heard so far. Um, we'll, I'll see if I get any more channelings. A karmic married couple, um, they are, um, they're married, so they're legally married, a legally binding marriage contract. I'm assuming no false marriage shit. Um, you know, nobody putting anybody in damn false marriage. Whoever puts somebody in false marriage, they're actually being in prison bars, behind prison bars. Now, I'm just being for real. I just want to publicly say that. If somebody puts somebody in a false marriage, their ass needs to be behind prison, not jail, prison bars. Because that is serious. And that needs to, it needs to be publicly known that way. People will know, and that person can be an example to the world, that you shouldn't try to entrap somebody in a false marriage. And I'm just being serious. Just throwing that out there. But anyways, this is a legally married couple. So they agreed, both of them were in mental, right mental capacity to sign the marriage certificate, the marriage document. Not going up in your nice fluffy white dress with clout. Not that. I'm talking about the legal document. Uh, marriage document. Um, both of them signed it free willingly in right mental capacities. Um, but they are a karmic married couple. So they are karmics to other people and maybe themselves. <laughs> I don't know. I'm single as a Pringle on the tax return. And that's just the truth. Um, but I heard they're about to experience very heavy negative karma in many aspects. So you plug it in how it resonates. These are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. One message may apply, two may apply. Um, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. So some kind of karmic married couple um, is about to start experiencing um, heavy karma. Gigolo and prostitute energy. Very greedy people. People have already started waking up to this. More are about to start waking up to this. Drugs involved as well. Oh my God. Well, that's that's crazy. Um, that's crazy. So, um, gigolo and prostitute energy. So, gigolo or male prostitutes for anybody who doesn't know. So, I'm assuming the male, it sounds like it's a male, man and woman karmic couple. Because, you know, it could be man and man or woman and woman, man or woman. This sounds man or woman, man and woman, I'm sorry. Um, what well, it sounds like the man is a gigolo, a male prostitute, and the woman is a prostitute, so they are married, but they sell their goodies out. Well, they don't sell their goodies out, they rent their goodies out to their community or people outside their community for money for greed. I heard they're very greedy, so um, they rent their goodies out to community members. <laughs> Why would anybody want to pay with it for that? Just saying, just saying. Somebody's getting a huge wake-up call. Somebody's getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. Why would you want to pay for that? You know, it's been used like a freaking um, 1930 Buick that can barely, 
run anymore. Why would you want to pay for that? If any, it's some food for thought if anybody needs to hear that. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, um, I heard they're about to experience very negative karma very soon. So I think, here's what I think. I heard drugs are involved and, um, gigolo and prostitutes. So I think it's a male prostitute in the marriage and a female prostitute in the marriage. And they're married together, but they might do it together, but they definitely do it with other people, but it's for money. Uh, but like I said, why would you want to rip that crap out? Why would you? Why? I don't care how good they look. What if they have a disease? What if it's smelling funny down there? What if, um, I don't care if they can rock you all night long. What if you get a disease? Just saying, just saying. But anyways, I heard, I, I think their business is about to start going down. I heard they're about to start experiencing very heavy negative karma. I think the prostitute and the gigolo's business is about to start going down. I think heard people already gotten huge wake-up calls more about to. I think it might be because they realize that these people, I don't care how good they look, how good they smooth you, how good they talk it up to you in the 3D, how good you feel around them. At the end of the day, you're paying money for sex. And that's just the truth. Um, nay, 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 nay. Um, I think people are about to get realized that these people are karmics to them, that they're using. I don't care how good of a speaker they are, how good they make you feel, how good they can sex you up. If it's $500 for 30 minutes, it's $500 for 30 minutes. And that's just the truth. Just saying, just saying. You might need to hear that. And you could possibly get a disease out of it. I didn't hear they had an STD. But if, if they've been around as much as I feel they've been around, probably. That's probably why people are getting wake-up calls. People have gotten STDs from these people. People have gotten STDs from these people is what I heard. People have gotten STDs from these people. Okay, well, okay then. So, I okay, here's what I think. Because I pull in the energy of you guys. And I receive my downloads from the spiritual universe from Source. Um, and I do, I can do this because I, when y'all watch, I can pull your energy in and receive the downloads from the spiritual realm. That's how I do this. And when you like my content, just let everybody know. But I heard these people have given, given people STDs. If it's a serious STD, like HIV or something, like you have to notify the other partner before you have sexual intercourse with them. What if they're in the middle of a damn lawsuit? I'm just saying, just saying. But I think I'm getting this message because you guys deal with these people. I think you deal with these people. For some, you might be these people. But this is some low vibrational energy if I've ever heard it. They don't treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. And that's just damn true. Um, I think you guys deal with these people. Or you're about to. Wake up calls have already been had and more are about to. On these, on this karmic couple. And we have the most difficult part of a situation is over. I think somebody has acquired, one of you guys, I think has acquired an STD from them. And I'm just being for real. I think you have. Um. Their business is about to start declining in a huge way. The drugs and the um, prostitution. And one of them is about to end up in jail soon. Okay, their business is about to start declining in a huge way. The drugs and the prostitution. And one's about to end up in jail soon. So you plug it in how it resonates. And through many shocking series of chain of events, the other one's going to end up in jail. And they won't get out. Oh, well, my God. Okay, so one's going to end up in jail soon. And through many shocking series of chain events, the other one's going to end up in jail. And I heard they won't get out. Um, so I'm assuming jail with no bail or bond is what I'm presuming. <clears throat> you plug it in how it resonates. This is a serious shit net if I've ever heard it. And that's the truth. So I think this is the most difficult part of the situation is over. I mean... It sounds like these people have been like kingpins in their community, controlling their community as far as um, manipulating and driving the need for addictions, i.e. sex and drugs in their community for a long time. And they've been using their communities to do it. But it sounds like you community members, because I feel that's who I'm pulling in here, 
you community members are, have already stood up to them or you're about to, i.e. breaking the need for addiction, I think these people are very good looking. And I'm just being for real. I think they're very good looking. I didn't hear they were, but I feel intuitively they are because you're not going to pay 300 well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't pay for sex, period. But some people do. I'm not judging. I don't believe you should, but I'm not judging. But anyways, you're not going to pay, or most sane people wouldn't, pay $300, $500, $1,000, $5,000 for 30 minutes or a night or what have you if you're not attractive. And that's just the truth. For real, for real. I'm serious. So I feel they're attractive. They've either cosmetically made themselves attractive or they were naturally attractive, but they are attractive in their 30s, in their 30s, and they're in their 30s. So they're in their 30s, and I feel they are attractive. Either they made themselves attractive with money and cosmetic procedures or they're naturally attractive, but I feel they're attractive and they're definitely in their 30s. That's a confirmation for the spiritual realm. Both of them are in their 30s. And they're a man or a woman. Man and a woman, Caucasian, and they're Caucasian, okay? So they're both 30s, they're both in Caucasian, so white, and um, they are um, married. Getting a lot of information out on these this karma couple today. You plug it in how it resonates, but they're both about to end up in jail. One of them, I'm presuming it might be jail with bond or possibly, I don't know. I heard one's going to end up in jail soon. It depends on the charge or charges they get charged with is um whether they'll get offered bond or bail or if they've been jailed previously i'm presuming i'm presuming because i only say that because when i was jailed in october of 2021 for my crazy disturbing the peace charge that i shouldn't have been charged with to begin with um um uh, when they uh made the phone call to see if i could um uh, even bond out um uh, uh they they checked my record. They got my information, my personal information, and my social security number, and they checked to see if I had any previous charges, like previous arrests, previous charges, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, before they could release me out on bond. That was for me. So that's why I say from personal experience. That's why I think if one of them's definitely not going to make it out of jail. So, I mean, something is about to go down, like serious go down with one of them. One may make it out of jail, one may not, but it really all depends on the charge or charges they're about to be charged with, I'm thinking, if they're able to make bail, and if um, there's not any previous arrests, I'm presuming. I'm not an officer of the law, I'm just telling you on my experience when I was arrested in October of 2021. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages, you have reflected. Very interesting. I've been getting a lot of downloads today. Um, I wasn't really going to get on here today, but uh, my kids, have, they slept. My, we've been staying up late because it's summertime and my my son's out of summer school. And, you know, I don't care if it's the summer. Now, if it's school, it's different. It's different. You have to be in bed by a certain time. Point blank, period. Because um, I want you to be rested for school. But, um, you know, summer is different. Um, and he's out of summer school, so, you know. You know, I don't care. I'm just rambling while I'm shuffling. Just saying. But everybody's different. But anyway, so we got prostitution going on in here. Um, we've got uh, drugs. I mean, this is a bad mix. I hope they don't have kids. Um, and I'm serious. They might. I didn't hear they had kids. But they're uh, Caucasian, i.e. a white couple, man and woman, in their 30s. I think you guys know these people. Okay, so we have rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Star, guaranteed success. Grasshopper, situation in the balance that requires careful handling. So I think that's you guys about to stand up. Because I heard wake-up calls have already been had. We're about to be had. You guys are about to stand up to this karmic, married, Caucasian couple in their 30s. Um, and some you're about to. I think some you're about to cut off the money train with the sex. Some I think you're about to cut off the drugs. They're drug dealers. And I mean, I'm just being for real. I heard they're either drug users or drug dealers or both. Drugs are involved in some shape, form, or fashion. So whether they deal, they use, or both, or they use, or they deal. Um, 
how that resonates and however you're connected to these people and however you're about to take action on these people, if that makes sense, okay? Um, so the most difficult part of the situation is over, I think, is the wake-up call energy and about to have a wake-up call energy regarding these people. I told you what I thought it could be. I think some you're about to cut off sex. You're about to take back your $500 for 30 minutes. You're about to take back your $300 for a BJ. I'm not trying to be crass. I'm just being for real. You're about to take back. You're about to not buy the drugs. Or you're about to not tell people about the drugs. Or you're about not to sell them drugs. How that resonates. Energy is going to reverse. So I'm just telling you what I think it could be. Okay. Star guarantees success. I think you're going to have success with this. Um, for, okay. And I just want to say this. And I didn't hear this. But. I feel this intuitively for one of you guys because I have quite a few people on here. So, and y'all all know that. Um, I have 13,490 of you guys on here now. 13,490. So, a lot of you guys are on here. Watch the channel. So, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. But my point is, it's all dependent on what actions you're going to take this um, with this karmic married couple. You're going to have success. Um, but... For one of you guys, I feel you might be SWAT team, or you might be drug enforcement agency energy, or you might be, um, yeah, I do. That's what I was going to go with that. I think you're DEA, or you're SWAT team, or something of that nature. And I say that because I did a reading, it was either, I can't remember, it was either yesterday or a couple days ago. Hell, I guess my channeling's in, so it's hard to keep up. I could tell you if I was looking at the platform from the other perspective, but I'm not right now. I'm on camera. It's been a few, uh, either yesterday or a few days ago, but I did, I, I got a channeling in about um, a drug raid about to happen. So I feel for one, you might be DEA, Drug Enforcement Agency, or you might be SWAT team, or you might be officers of the law um, about to help collaborate Busting up, maybe they sell drugs. I think they might be drug dealers. I heard drugs were involved. I think they might be drug dealers. I mean, and I'm just being serious. I think you're about to bring high honor to your community. If you are DEA or SWAT team or you are local police law enforcement. Um, and I'm serious. I'm serious about that. Um, I'm serious. Uh, and kudos if you're about to do the right thing on this because... It sounds like this karmic couple has drug their community into the mud for years. For years. I think you're going to have success. Star guaranteed success. About to have a lot of success. A lot. About to have a lot of success. A lot. So, however you are connected to these people, whether you're going to use your personal power and cut back your $500 for a BJ or $5,000 for one night or however much you pay these people. I don't know. I'm not these people. Um, or you're going to um, deny them selling them drugs or quit buying their drugs or what have you, what have you. You are a piece of this puzzle. If you resonate with this karmic married couple in their 30s, white karmic married couple, not being racist, but I heard they're Caucasian, just saying. Um, you're going to have success in whatever piece of the pie you are related to these people because they know a lot of people in their community and probably outside their community. They know a lot of people. So much so they have built an empire, a dark empire on drugs and prostitution. And they've used, I feel they use their community and probably people outside their community to do it. But you're about to experience success as far as cutting whatever piece you are to this pie away from them, if that makes sense. For some, if you're the DEA or um, law enforcement or SWAT team, I feel you're going to have success in this uh, drug raid. If it is a drug raid, I didn't hear a drug raid in here, but I feel it might be. You plug it in how it resonates. Ooh. Oh. Okay, well, I heard something else, but I also heard not to say it. Okay. I heard something else, and I heard not to say it. Mm. Mm, I want to say it. I want to say it. I want to say it. I want to go. I get why not to say it. I get why not to say it, but I want to say it. Ah! Okay. I'm going to keep going. 
Grasshopper, situation in the balance that requires careful handling. This is about to be a huge thing, a huge ass thing. These people are about to go down. And an Aquarius is about to have a lot to do with this. And an Aquarius is about to be pissed. And an Aquarius is about to be shocked. Okay, these people are about to go down and heavy Aquarian energy. So these people are about to go down. I didn't hear signs on these people. I didn't hear signs. So, whoever these people are to you, I did not hear signs on these people. But heavy Aquarian energy involved in this situation, I feel for some you could be these Aquarius. So you plug it in how it resonates. And we do have the star card, Aquarian energy. Um, but I heard one Aquarius is involved. So, involved with busting up these people or taking away, not paying $500 to make you holler, or not paying $500 for a BJ, or not paying, uh, I don't know, $300 for eight ball, or whatever they sell, or what have you, what have you, um, or um, investigating them for the SWAT, uh, if there is a drug raid involved, if it's SWAT team or DEA or what have you, what have you. Um, one Aquarius is actively involved in either stopping this business or businesses, prostitution or drugs, or involved in investigating these people or surveillancing these people or coming in with SWAT team and drug raid energy, or maybe this Aquarius is involved in getting a search warrant to um, go in and bust up with the drug raid, if a drug raid is involved. I'm serious. I feel these people, I mean, I feel in, these are heavy, dark, negative energies in this community, and I'm just being for real. Like, I'm serious. Um, so that's for one of you guys. So you're, one Aquarius, you're positively involved in helping break this shit up, however you are positively involved in this. For one, you are um, going to be pissed that this is going to happen. So maybe you're a supplier to these people. Maybe you're frenzies with these people. Maybe you, maybe you do drugs with them on the weekend with these people. One, you're going to be pissed when this gets broke up. Because the businesses are about to go down. They're about to go to jail. I mean, these people are about to get it. But one, you're going to be pissed. But you're going to be pissed for reasons. So I think you... Stored it up with them on the weekend. Shoot it up with them on the weekend. Maybe uh, sex it up with them on the weekend. I don't know. But for some reason you're going to be pissed. That's for one of you guys. Situation two. Situation, sorry, situation two. Situation three, one, you're going to be shocked. So one, you're going to be happy. So you're going to help break this shit up. One, you're going to be pissed. You, you are positively connected to them. But I think you might be a drug addict or you might be a um a user i.e a drug addict or you might be a um supplier to them or you might sex it with them or what have you what have you and for one you're gonna be shocked so you're gonna be shocked this shit's about to get broke up these people are about to go to jail what have you what have you acquiring energy you can have aquarius in your sun moon rising venus or them in hey your charts you plug yourself in where you fit you could have um aquarius in any aspects of your charts you're either gonna be happy this shit's about to go down. You're either going to be pissed the shit's about to go down or you are about to be shocked this piss is, uh, shit's about to go down. However that resonates, Aquarius, you are pulling in very strong in here. And that could be the situation in the balance that requires careful handling wherever you fit in here, Aquarius. And also, I feel this is, um, I, I think this is jail energy. I think these people are being investigated or they already have been investigated. Um, and I'm serious about that. I'm serious. Um, and they should be. They should be. Um, because this is, this community has built a negative karmic empire in their damn community. And I'm serious. Um, someone wants it to go down before the city grows. And this city is growing, growing, growing. And they know it. Somebody wants this to go down before the city grows and um, they know the city is growing, growing, growing and they're right, it is. So this is very growing city. 
Um, it's already grew, it sounds like, and it's still growing, and they want this drug prostitution negative empire to fall before the city gets bigger. So before there's more drug addicts, before there's more prostitutes come out of this shit, before there's more negative karmic activity in somebody's community is what I'm feeling here. Um, I feel that's one of you guys, Aquarius, or you can be any other sign if you feel that way for these, these people and you know these people. How that resonates and applies, okay? All right, well, let me see if I hear anything else. And the feminine energy in this karmic couple is going to be charged with a hell of a lot more than she thought she was going to be. She is going to be pissed and shocked. Okay, and the karmic fem energy, so the karmic fem in her 30s, uh, white girl energy, basically. Just saying, just saying. I'm a white girl, just saying. Um, not her, but I am a white girl. But I heard she's about to be charged with a hell of a lot more charges than she thought she was going to be charged with. And it's going to shock her. So that could be um, guaranteed success. Um, and there is evidence, a lot of it. And there's evidence, a lot of it. So there's evidence and a lot of it. So I think um, she's about to be arrested soon. Well, they both are, but she's about to be charged with a hell of a lot more charges than she thought she was going to be charged with. Um, and there's some kind of evidence in the universe supporting her to be char uh, charged with all these charges she's about to be charged with. Um, a water sign, high vibrational water sign masculine is very heavily involved with this. He's about to start cleaning freaking house. And a water sign masculine, high vibrational water sign masculine is very heavily involved with this. And he's about to start cleaning freaking house is what I heard. So you go with your bad self, uh, water sign masculine, uh, cleaning freaking house. Um, if that mes resonates for you, sorry. You can have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and your sun, moon, rising. Venus, North, Moon, Heaven, and Jupiter, Taurus. If that resonates for you, water sign, masculine, high vibrational. You treat, treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. If that resonates for you, sir. All right, I'm getting out of this. I love you guys. Everybody have a good day. Namaste.